My friend says he knows what JJ looks like in real life. So he's challenged me to a realistic JJ build battle. And the winner gets to go to JJ's birthday party. And Teddy is hiding his deepest, darkest secret inside his build. Let's find out what it is. Louie, I think my JJ build is going to be way better than yours. What? No way. My JJ build is going to be way more realistic. We'll see about that, Louie. Well, I'm going to get started building right now. We we need to go ahead and build the most realistic version of JJ. Maybe I can get him over here to help me a little bit so I know exactly what he looks like and can make him as realistic as possible. But wait, what's Teddy doing? Oh, it seems like he's having a moment to think as well. All right, JJ, come on, follow me. I need to build you as realistic as possible. Then I'll get to go to your birthday party. All right, let's get him to come all the way over here and let's get started on our build. So first of all, we need to build JJ's shoes, which are nice and and bright pink. So let's go ahead and use the wand of symmetry so I'm able to build up both sides at the same time. I'll get some pink like this and I'll focusing on JJ running around in circles. We need to build up these legs more realistic. I wonder what Teddy's up to. I hope he's not making his JJ look more realistic than mine. I mean, after all, he is a posh bear and likes to build things very properly. Louie, what is this? This looks like utter boo-boo. What do you mean it looks like boo-boo? This is looking like a a really realistic pair of JJ's legs. Louie, they look nothing like JJ's legs. And why are the pants gray? Well, I didn't want to use black. It seems too dark. I don't like extremely dark colors like black. Ah, uh, well, Louie, I have nothing to worry about. Now that I've seen your base, mine's gonna be way more better. Wait a second. What does he mean by better, guys? It seems like he came over to take a look at my base and he's already decided it's bad. What does his realistic JJ look like? Let me go and take a quick look and... Uh, wait, what is that? Uh, ha -ha, my JJ's gonna look way better than Louis. <laughs> Guys, what is Teddy doing? He's built a big red shirt and some black pants, but where are JJ's shoes? I don't even need shoes for JJ because I know in real life he doesn't even wear any. Wait, what? Teddy knows that JJ doesn't wear shoes in real life? Uh, JJ, is that true? Um, I don't think he's saying anything. Oh, well, guys, do you know what JJ wears in real life? Does he wear shoes or not? Comment down below. All I know is that I'm wearing shoes right now, so JJ must be too. So I think my JJ build is looking very accurate right now. I need to keep building up these legs though. I don't have much time. I only have about 18 minutes left until this build challenge is over. And that's when Teddy will come over to see how realistic my base is. And also, I'm not only just going to work on the outside of my base, I'm also going to work on the inside, filling it up with traps so that Teddy has to go through the inside in order to find my deepest, darkest secrets. But anyway, Anyways, look guys, I'm just about starting on JJ's pants. As you can see, I'm almost finished. I'm just building where his legs go over like this, and I'm going towards where his hips are. So I'll just build up with some more gray like this, and hopefully this will be good enough. I think this gray makes it look very realistic, because no pants are actually pitch black in real life. When you go in the sun like I am right now, there's no such thing as black pants. Have you guys ever seen a pair of pants that are actually as dark as the night? If you have, then like this video. But anyways, as you can see, I've just now finished building up JJ's pants. This is looking pretty good in my opinion. I think that's quite cool. But now what it's time to do is build up JJ's shirt. After all, I haven't actually built one. He seems to wear a little hoodie like I do, but he does have it open in the middle, unlike me. So what I'm going to need is some white, some black, and some skin tone colors, and also a ton of red. That should be easy. I'll just get some white terracotta like this, and then I'll just build up his shirt. So what I need to do is build the big white area in the middle right here. This is where his shirt pokes through his hoodie, just there. But now what I'm going to do is build up the red sides of the hoodie going all the way up. This is where it will reach all the way to the top. This is the hoodie that JJ wears. Hmm, how tall do I want it to be? I think his body would be a tiny bit taller than that, so we're going to make it a little bit bigger. I'd say 
that's about tall enough. But now what does JJ have? It seems like his hoodie strings go down the left and the right of his body. So that should be very easy to build. I could just get some white wool and build them on. So let's get these hoodie strings like this. And then let's add some black on the ends. And as you can see, we now have JJ's hoodie strings on. But one of them comes down further than the other. So I'll put this one right here and that one right there. Awesome. Finally, what I'm going to need to do is build up JJ's white shirt in the middle of his body as high up as I can. After all, JJ needs a shirt underneath or he'll get very cold during the winter. And that's when Santa Claus comes and Santa Claus won't give him any presents if he's walking around without a shirt. But there we go. I've built up some realistic legs and also a nice realistic body, but oh, I don't know. Something's wrong about this. It just looks too square. You know what? I'm going to give JJ some hips so that his body looks a bit more natural. As you can see, the top of his body gets bigger, but then his hips are right there where his legs start. Now I can go ahead and connect them up at the top. All I have to do is just build some red around this side and then go ahead and connect up his hips to his body. So now what I'm going to do, guys, is just build a ton of red and connect up all the pieces of JJ's body. As you can see, he has a little area that sticks out over here. So I'll connect that up at the top and let's go ahead and build it all the way up. After all, I want to make this JJ build really big, so there's no way that Teddy could possibly miss it. All right, now let's build up his back. I'm going to have this naturally follow the curve of where his back is so that it looks more realistic. Let's just build all the way up like this and make it look as natural as possible. After all, this JJ has to look realistic, and if I build it like it's in Minecraft, it won't look natural and it won't look realistic. And then I'll have Teddy coming to me and saying it doesn't look proper, which I do not want. As you guys can see now, I built up JJ's back, and he has these little hips right here, which means it's going to be very easy for him to walk. But now I want to add one final detail, which is going to be where his neck goes. So I'll put in a space right there. And as you can see, this is looking super good, but I want to make it look like his hoodie is flowing in the wind. So I'm going to do this right here. And as you can see, it's wiggling around like that. And I'm also going to add some gray going up the side like this. So he has a zipper that helps him zip his hoodie up whenever he gets cold. There we go. I think that is looking super realistic. I think if JJ ever saw this, he would be super happy with it. But wait, JJ's actually right here. What do you think, JJ? Does that look realistic? And wait, look, he's nodding at me. I think he likes it, guys. But next, I need to build his arms because JJ doesn't have arms right now. So let's go ahead and build those. This should be easy to make realistic looking arms. First, you need to build some shoulders. So I'll build some of those coming down his arm here. I need to make sure that his arms are smaller than his body because that's how they look in real life. And I'll get it so his arms come down to his sides because it's very hard to build realistic arms in Minecraft if they go down the wrong way. All right, here we go. I'll just get his arms coming down to where his hips are. And then I'll go ahead and make it so that this area connects up to the bottom where his sleeves are going to be. So there we go. As you guys can see, I'm building these arms on right now and they're looking super super, super good. Let's just build on the other side right here. And this is looking really realistic right now. I'm very, very proud of how this build is coming along. I think Teddy is going to like it too, but he's probably going to pretend that he hates it because he won't think that it's proper or whatever he says. But now, as you can see, all I have to do is build JJ's arms coming all the way down now, all the way to his legs. I have the shoulders and the arms coming down, but now I need to make it so that he has sleeves at the bottom of his arms. So let's connect all of the sides up like this and go ahead and add a little sleeve in just like this one right here. That looks pretty good. Now we just need to connect this whole sleeve up to JJ's body. So we will just build up into the air by a few blocks going all the way up towards JJ's shoulder. And then all I have to do is just connect it up right here. And as you can see, this looks pretty good from the side. These shoulders are sticking off of his arms and now I just need to add his sleeves in. So I'm going to make them a little bit wider. After all, your hands are not rectangular shaped. They are quite square in Minecraft. And since JJ plays a lot of Minecraft, I'm pretty sure his hands would be quite square in real life. Just like mine. But here we go. I'll build up this last little red section right here. And there we are. He now has some arms coming down the side. I just need to go ahead and actually add his hands in. But in Minecraft, his hands are just square. So I need to try and make it look accurate. I just realize something. He has little black sleeves. So I'll add those first before I do 
anything else. I'll put these black sleeves right at the end of his arms, just like this. And now it's time to actually add his hands in. So how would I build realistic hands in Minecraft? This might be quite difficult, guys, but I'll give it a go. So what I'm going to do is build JJ's wrist coming down out of his shirt, and now straight away, I'm going to build his thumb. Because your thumb comes straight off of your hands straight away like that. But now what I need to do is actually go ahead and build the rest of JJ's hands. So what he's going to have is his fingers. I'll do one right here, one right here, and then I'll have another one just coming off the edge over here. Now, as you can see, this hand is coming along very well. He now has a palm in the middle right there that connects up to his sleeve. That's looking cool. Now JJ has two realistic looking hands. And wait a second. Guys, did you notice? This is starting to look like a Roblox character. Comment down below if you've ever seen a Roblox character that looks like this one. Louie, your JJ is headless. Wait, what do you mean? I know it's headless, Teddy. I haven't even started on the head yet. Louie, this looks nothing like JJ though. It oh. looks too realistic. What do you mean too realistic? I thought this was a realistic JJ build challenge. I thought you were going to build a realistic JJ. What is wrong with his fingers, Louie? I tried my best to make some hands in Minecraft, but it turns out it's not that easy. They look like curly fries. Oh, well, you know what? I'll actually curl them in like this. Now they actually look like hands, I hope. They look like bananas. Oh, well, Teddy, I don't think you've done any better. Maybe I should come and take a look. Come look, it's way more better. I'm still building though, by the way. Oh, uh, wait, no, Louis, stay, stay here. Um, uh, maybe you shouldn't, uh, uh, I'm still building. Wait, what do you mean you're still building? What, does it look so good that, like, I would get embarrassed or something? Exactly, Louis. I'm glad you understand. Now stay over there. All right, fine. But guys, I'm really, really curious, and I'm pretty sure JJ is too. Look, he's looking at me. So let's go ahead and go to Teddy's side and see what he's been working on. If I just break through the wall right here, we can see that Teddy is working on JJ's shoes, and wait, why was he talking to me? about my JJ being headless. Look at his. It has no head either. And also no right arm. Ah, now that I've told Louie his base doesn't even look good, he'll be thinking that mine is way better automatically. What? No way. Look at that, guys. Comment down below whether you think Teddy's build is better than mine right now. Just look at the difference. But we have no time to be judging builds. I need JJ to come over here because I'm going to build the most important part his realistic face. This is going to be the hardest part. I need to build it like a real human face. So I'm going to need to look very carefully at these details. JJ has a red hoodie with a black little string around it. And he also has a peach face with some blue eyes and brown hair. This is going to be difficult to build, but I'll try my best. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is start on this face. This is going to be quite difficult. I need to give JJ a little chin like this because that is how a real human face looks. And I need to make his head about as wide as his shoulders, just like this. But wait a second, why am I building it right here? I need to add a neck first. If JJ does not have a neck, how will his head even be on his body? So I'll build a round neck just like this and have it going up into the air, just like this. Then I can go ahead and add the head on top. First though, I need to go ahead and build these red areas here so that his body is more rounded. And there we go. Now, now let's go ahead and add those facial features, like I said. So first, we need JJ's chin, and we need to go ahead and make it connect down to his neck there. All right, and now we need to make his chin come up just like this, and then we need to build where his mouth will be. So to build a realistic mouth in Minecraft, this might be difficult, guys. I'm going to go ahead and get some white, and hopefully I can give him a smile. This might be hard. I'll go ahead and put his mouth right there underneath his chin. I think that's looking okay. I'll go ahead and put some black wool on either side side and oh no that's not looking right let me go ahead and make his mouth one block wider and then put the black in now he looks like he's got a smile but next i have something i need to do i need to build his nose so we are going to come up by one more block like this and put a nose on so to make this more realistic what i'm going to do is get some birch stairs and i'm going to place them on either side of his nose like this so it has an actual nose shape then i'll build it up into the sky like this now he has a longer nose next i need to 
build his cheeks. So I'm going to build them up like this to give him a cheek shape. And there we go. We've now got his mouth and his nose. This is looking kind of realistic, but also quite scary at the same time. What do you guys think? But now I need to add his eyes in. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll just build up his face by one more block and his eyes will go right at the top of where his nose is. So let's go ahead and put some white in and then let's put some blue for his eyes. And now that I've got his eyes in, it's time to add some eyebrows. So I'll add them in just like that. I think that's looking pretty cool. But let's actually go ahead and build the side of his head up now. We need to make it so his head looks like it's coming off of his neck and going up so it actually is round on the top. And then we can start adding his hair in because I know, guys, that is the most important detail and I almost forgot. All right, so we now have his entire head built up like that and I would say that's looking slightly scary but also very realistic. Now we need to add his hair in. But now I need to look at JJ for some reference. It looks like he has a little side sweep for his hairstyle. So let me get some brown and we can add it on. Let's go ahead and go up all the way to the top of my base and let's add JJ's hair on. So I need to add that little side sweep that he has on his head. So I'll go ahead and add that right now. I can't be using the wand of symmetry though. Otherwise, it's not going to look symmetrical. So here we go. Let's go ahead and add this little side sweep going down the side of his head. Just like that. I think that's pretty good. But now what happens on the other side of his head? It looks like his hair just comes over and round. So let's go ahead and do that on the other side too. I'll go ahead and make his hair go just down like this and then back over the top. That's looking quite realistic, but it's also looking like me. Just with blue eyes. But anyways, guys, let's keep focusing on this JJ build. I'll go ahead and build his hair up a tiny bit more. Give him a little bit of a fringe like this. And then finish it up at the top like that. And there we go. His hair is now looking super realistic. But he still has a bit of a bald patch on the back of his head. So let's go ahead and fix that. I'll add some hair at the bottom here. I'll build it up to the top. And bada bing, bada boom. Yeah, this is looking good. So now if I fly around this build, his hair is looking good. Good. And uh, maybe I should make his head more round. So I'll add a little bit more here and here. And yeah, that's looking way better, guys. JJ is looking super cool and super realistic. I wonder what Teddy's up to right now, though. Let me just go ahead and check if his build is looking realistic or not. Let me just go over here and... Wait, what? JJ's head is still a square on Teddy's build. He is nowhere near completed. Well, my outside is now complete. I think it's time for me to add some traps on the inside. Okay, almost done with the face here. What is that, JJ? How did you get here, JJ? Anyway, this is perfect because I 